if you're delivering a service and you want to really get your ducks in a row and get well organized and get better at delivering that service, you should think about deploying process orchestration. So process talks about the management of work and the management of work from end to end through your operation. And orchestration, well, just like a musical orchestra, the, the sheet music is telling the musicians what notes to play at what point in time to create the overall effect. Well, that's exactly what we're doing with process orchestration. We're making sure that the right worker is doing the right work at the right time to deliver the best overall outcome to an end customer. Firstly, if you're delivering a service, whether that's an internal service like a finance shared service or a internal HR shared service or a global business service, process orchestration's probably for you. And likewise, if you're delivering an external service, there is a finance service to you know, insurance services or something like that to consumers, you've got a role for orchestration as well. But you've also got to be at a kind of meaningful scale because if there are just five or 10 of us in a room delivering the service to an end customer, then we can orchestrate it pretty well just by talking to each other. But if I've got a hundred people or a thousand people, that becomes much more complicated and you need a platform to help you deliver a great service. And that's what process orchestration is there for. What's interesting is, so I, I talk about people delivering the service, but actually now, yes, there are still very important people involved in delivering service to end customers, but there are also lots of different types of digital worker now appearing alongside those people, whether it's RPA robots, whether it's machine learning algorithms, whether it's large language models. Now, all of those types of digital work that we need to blend into that workforce to manage the service from end to end and improve the service from end to end. And that's what we're trying to do with process orchestration, give you a single platform to manage both the human and that digital workforce together. Once you've got that platform in place and you've got the data coming out of it, then you've got an environment that you can improve from. You can spot bottlenecks, you can identify automation opportunities, and you can use that new data set that you have to create a virtuous circle and drive improvement in the outcomes for your customers.